It was the night before Christmas, all quiet and stealing cold. A little dragon slept in the middle of the island, dreaming about its beloved Dragon City story. In the magic clouds of Dragon City, there was a dragon hidden in the dark. Little Kenny was trying to sneak into a very secret relic palace. Moving slowly and using his ghostly hands, Kenny managed to break into the palace. But why would he want to enter this secret place, the powerful relic of life? With a fast movement, he swiped the relic. I foresaw something bad was about to happen, and I tried to stop it, but I didn't arrive on time. Surprised by my presence, Kenny dropped the breathing relic, and it broke into pieces. Furious, I banished Kenny from Dragon City, naming him the Burglar Dragon, a shameful name that would carry forever. Now what, without the relic of life? Dragon City's breeding powers would soon fade away. And breeding with dragons would no longer be possible. I had to think fast, and I came up with a plan. We had to collect the rarity artifacts. We needed them to summon the rarity dragons. Clarity. Reason. Virtue. Empathy. And loyalty. As the five of the rarity dragons stood together, a blinding light flashed from their emblems, opening a portal to a magical dimension and invoking the mighty origin dragon. The one and only dragon that could resemble the five rarity pieces. They did it. They were safe. I grabbed the relic of life and put it back to its rightful place inside the Relic Palace, restoring Dragon City's breeding power. Sometimes, dreams come true. A new adventure is about to begin. By the way, where do you think the burglar dragon has gone? I'm afraid I treated the poor thing too harshly. Time has passed. Everything is peaceful on the floating islands. Everyone is celebrating the breeding stability. Everyone but me. I can't forget that I was very hard on the burglar dragon. Where is he now? I'm afraid... I treated the poor thing too harshly. Oh, my dear Kenny, now I understand why he did it. Behind every single act, there is a reason. When he was little, Kenny was a very friendly dragon, always surrounded by other dragons. The other dragons thought it was pretty cool that he could get things no one else could reach with his ghostly hands. Baby dragons do not know the values between reaching and sneaking, right? So they all just had fun, and I was happy seeing them. But as time passed, his friends were growing, and became more interested in breeding and battling than playing with Kenny. Because in fact, poor Kenny did not breed, nor battle. Feeling lonely and forgotten, Sadness and rage were spreading in his heart. He was alone, but not forever. He planned a solution to bring his friends back. The only problem was that it could make things worse. But if that allowed him to keep his friends close, it was worth it. And you already know the rest of the story, Dragon Master. But where is he? Is he alright? I need to find him. I asked all around, dragon after dragon, and I found him. He was hidden at the top of the burglar tower, too ashamed to go out. Come on, Kenny. It's time to come home. I think you've learned your lesson. Come back to Dragon City with me. Everyone hates me. I made a big mistake. Who's going to love me now? He replied. No one remembers anymore. It was only an accident. 
I'm sure everyone would be happy to see you. The burglar dragon kept thinking about that, not convinced by my words. If that's true, prove it to me, Kenny said. It is your turn, Dragon Master. He needs you. Go into the burglar tower, find him, and free him from his sins. By the way, the burglar dragon found something in the tower before going back to Dragon City. A golden seed. What is this? It seems something special. It wants to bloom, flourish, but it can't. The seed found by our beloved Kenny. What is this? As I held the golden seed in my hand, I felt an unmistakable presence, Gaia. But you may wonder, who is Gaia? Well, my dear Dragon Master, long ago, Gaia was a dragon city deity like me. We both loved dragons. Whereas I was devoted to learning about the dragons and building the dragon city, Gaia believed there was still a lot to explore in the massive multiverse. She ferociously studied star charts and books until one day she found an old parchment and discovered the location of the Dragonverse. She had found a new purpose, and me? I was hesitant. I thought about accompanying her, but I decided to stay in Dragon City with my dragons. Farewell, my dear Gaia. And that was the last time I saw her. Is she trying to contact me through this seed? I asked Kelly and Flame to join me and plant it together. Then, from the tiny seed, a majestic tree started to grow, stretching its roots through Dragon City and beyond. And from the heart of the tree, Gaia appeared. Finally, she had found her way back home. Oh, Deus. Finally, I'm back. You won't believe it. The Dragonverse, it's all I've dreamt of. I was trying to come home, but the magic portal began to disappear. I used all my strength to send you that golden seed across a multiverse. This is the Tree of Life. Its roots connect many different places of our magical multiverse, including the Dragonverse. Gaia, tell me more about the Dragonverse. What did you see there? Oh, Deus. I have seen dragons that we couldn't have even imagined, and we might be able to bring them here. Have you ever heard of summoning? Summoning? Hmm. I think I'm going to like that. As Kenny played in the Tree of Life, he made a startling discovery. Five ancient and discarded armors started glowing once he approached them. They seemed to be reacting to the gem on his pendant, and he suddenly felt a familiar presence. The Relic of Life Dragons. Kenny grabbed the armors and rushed outside to meet his friends. But in his excitement, he didn't notice an evil shadow was following. With the armors clanging in his arms, he ran towards his friends. They were the Relic Armors, artifacts of legend believed to be lost and destroyed. Kenny's pendant seemed to bring new life to them. Suddenly, an evil force assaulted them. The fight was over in a flash, leaving the Relic of Life Dragons beaten, and Kenny was nowhere to be seen. All that was left was his pendant. How could this come to be? The Relic Dragons defeated. The Relic Armors taken. Kenny kidnapped. We need your help, Dragon Masters. Bring Kenny back. Cause I
trying to hold on to God to find it first But here I am Cause I've been laying under palm trees Waiting for the summer Knowing there's nowhere to go Cause I am happy on this island Wanna be my fun left I don't ever want to leave I'm in a tropical
Against the system 